mean, obviously, I got to know you as many people did on EastEnders. That's not to say you didn't have a career before that. I know, I know you did. Um, but you kind of grasped the attention. Then you went on and did proper telly. Um, let me first of all get your take on EastEnders and the inappropriacy of the Christmas storyline. How do you feel about that? Well, I've heard lots about it, but to tell you the truth, I haven't actually seen it. And as a mum, I don't think it would be something that I'd like to watch. Mm. I've just been talking about it on our TV review, and I think the BBC made several errors. One, they should have come out and said, mind your own business. Uh, two, they shouldn't have put it on in the first place. Babies dying on Christmas Day, to me, seems totally inappropriate, and who wants to see that anyway? Um, and three, for those who have got difficult times, you don't want to be reminded of it, do you? Did no. you Did you ever worry about that when you were doing it, that it is a bit grim at times, EastEnders? It can be grim. Uh, you know, they deal with an awful lot of brilliant storylines as well, don't forget. So, you know, occasionally one happens that nobody's particularly happy with. I think when I was there, I did an awful lot of... I arrived as a, a bubbly girl next door and, and within three and a half years, I'd, you know, become this tragic wreck, I suppose. And they tend to do that for the drama. And I think sometimes it really works and sometimes, it, you know, it's a step too far. The thing about you is you have an innate ability to look like you're not acting, and I think that is a great skill. I hope you take that as a compliment. When I look at you, I feel confident you seem to know what you're doing. Um, and you made that brave choice to walk away. I'm always nervous when I hear these uh, young actors saying, oh, I want to go on and work at RADA, and you think, no, love, it's not going to happen. You walked away, and you're as gangbusters today as you were then. Was there a moment when you thought, is this going to work? Um, I think I was I was really happy being a jobbing actress before EastEnders came along. I did eight years of musical theatre, an awful lot of theatre and bits and pieces of telly. And what EastEnders did was open lots of doors for me. And then when I left, I was quite happy going back to being a jobbing actress. But of course, I, I just had more opportunities. So for me, it could only have been a good thing. I, I, I don't think staying any longer than really for any longer than three and a half years would have been too much. And I mm. think sometimes... I look back at it and think, I don't even know how I did that. Touch wood going quite well. And what's it <laughs> I mean, like? I've just done a year in theatre, which is great. And now I'm taking a break, taking time out so that I don't, you know, spend my whole life w uh, working mm. and that I managed to see my daughter and I've teamed up with Boots Pharmaceuticals to try and create what we've done is created a guide to New Year's resolutions. We're going to get we on to that in a minute because yes. I'm very excited to talk to you about that because mine yes. never work. Can I ask <laughs> you what it's like being gorgeous? Because I've never had this feeling of deliciousness. And let's face it, if you Google your name, there's 400 million websites dedicated to you, your image and your ability to be gorgeous. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for Googling me as well. <laughs> oh, the chance would be a fine thing. Is it nice being you? I'm happy. I can't say... I'm happy in my own skin. I'm very fortunate. I'm a very lucky human being. I have a great support network and not much to moan about. So, yes... Thank you very much, it is. Well, it was meant with a compliment, and I hope you took it. Thank you, <laughs> I did, thank you. And also, you did that Don't Stop Believing on Channel 5. Yes. Uh, that passed me by. What was that, then? Um, I was a judge on a show that basically did... It, it, they, it was musical theatre groups competing mm. against each other. And Dale Devers won it, which was an all-woman group that were just fantastic. I suppose they're show choirs is what they're called. Awesome. And I was doing Sweet Charity at the time, and when I was asked, I thought, that's a lovely thing to do on a Sunday when I'm not doing a show. And I feel quite qualified to be judging that because I was doing it at the time, playing charity. So I had a ball. I absolutely loved it. It was only six weeks it was on for. And um, I'm not sure that they're doing another one, but I'd be very up for doing that because I just had the best time and watching youngsters kind of progress mm. is it's, it's really quite inspiring. I love a show tune. I dreamed a dream in time gone by. Join in, love. In You've time got a great gone voice. By. Oh, I'm no Alfie Bow. Don't you worry about that. I oh, saw you in. You. I saw you in Sweet Charity, and Did you? I thought you were incredible. Again, um, you were born to do that. You have a great presence. You have a good voice as well. I don't think people know that. When are you going to bring out an album? Uh, I don't think I'll bring out an album, but I, you know, I'd love to do another musical at some point. But. I mean, I just had the best time and that is what I trained in. So I think it's not something I've been pushing down people's throats because I was quite happy doing what I was doing. But then to have an opportunity to do a show like that and play a part like that was just, 
it was a big deal for me and I really feel quite proud of myself. See, I went to see Denise <laughs> Van Elm down at the Savoy the other week and, and oh, I yes. said to her, you know, I think it's a true test of a performer if you can stand on a stage and deliver night in and night out eight times a week. Almost TV doesn't do you justice because you can get known most famously for the thing that probably takes the least talent because if you make a mistake on that, you can do it again on stage. You've got to perform and knock it out of the ballpark, haven't you? Well, this is it, but it's like the power of television. So many people watch it when, and not everybody goes to the theatre. So, I, I mean, I love both. Both. I do love doing theatre, but I love it when you can mix it up and then do a bit of TV and go back to mm. theatre. I say every two years, as an actor, I have to do a bit of theatre just to remind myself. I'm thinking of going to musical theatre myself. I've had a few offers. Uh, the Lion King wanted me to be a giraffe, uh, but me double chins got in the way, so uh, I don't think I'll be doing that. Uh, let's talk about what you're here to talk about instead of my nonsense, which is New Year's <laughs> resolutions. Why are you on about that then? Well, because... Um, I don't know. We, we set ourselves these goals that are quite outlandish sometimes. And and then by the end of January, we've fallen off the wagon and we're beating ourselves up about it. So I think taking, like, for instance, at the moment, what I'm doing is I'm doing 30 minutes a day exercise or trying. I'm, I'm not saying everyone should do that. You can do it 30 minutes three times a week would be a good start. Mm -hmm. um, I'm taking my vitamins, complete woman, starflower oil, B, iron mm. and vitamin C. Rosemary is good for a headache as well, by the way. She always had one when I tried. <laughs> Very good. Anything else? <laughs> and, yeah, and and I think just to try and, and, and avoiding being ill, I suppose, with with your vitamins and trying to review your eating habits. Just it, it's like a it's a cleaning out your system, I, I think. But we don't need to be that hard on ourselves that by January the tenth, if we haven't stuck to it, that's it. We're off off the wagon. If because I'm eating, we all good, fall off. But if I'm eating a good diet, do I need these vitamins? Aren't they to supplement stuff that I'm not eating properly? Listen, I th I always think. You, vitamins or no vitamins, it's just got to be better to take vitamins. I'm, I, I have been quite lucky with not getting every cold that my daughter's had over the, the uh, winter, and that's because I am religiously taking vitamins. But I, I don't know. I think you need to eat as much fruit and veg as possible. And lots of us don't do that. I mm. mean, you know, clear out your cupboards, get rid of all the biscuits, get rid of the chocolates from Christmas and put new healthy things in. And we just feel better about ourselves if we do that. If I do half hour exercise for the rest of the day, I can tackle anything. You see, I was born to be 37 stone. You're very tall and slim and gorgeous. How big would you be if you ate what you want? Or are you one of these people I hate that's just always going to be delicious? No, no. And don't forget, you know, I'm I'm getting older now. And uh, knocking on, as love. we all are, mm. I'm knocking on a bit. And it takes a lot more now to get fit than it did maybe in your 20s or whatever. So, I don't know. I'm a, probably a 12 to 14, if mm. naturally. And when I was doing Sweet Charity, I was like a tiny little size 8 because I was working out so much in the show. How old are you at the moment? Are you at the point where you're getting up several times a night or are you not there yet? <laughs> I'm not there yet, apart from with my daughter. That's a relief, isn't <laughs> but it? You know how old I am. It's, it's, it's just been the big 4 -o, and I'm very proud to say it. Well, I think you look tremendous on it. If ever you're looking for the larger man with ginger hair and not much going on elsewhere. You have done my ego such wonders. I'm the man for the job. <laughs> hey, listen, lovely to talk to you. Tathmin Althway is one of the uh, geniuses of theatre and TV, and good luck to you because you do ever so well, whatever you're in. And if people want to find out more about your New Year's resolutions things, where do they go? Go onto the website, which is boots.com forward slash health assessment and take the assessment and be honest. Tasman, I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Thank you.